Hey everybody, Courtney Smith here with our April 10th edition of Wall Street Winners. Let's dive right in here. Well, so I guess my attitude is that we're still in a bull market, but it's a little bit shaky, so don't look for an explosive bull market, just look for a bull market. Now, let's take a look here at the S&P. Continues to move higher. Friday was a nice day in the market. But the purple predictor remains not that great, not that bad, but not that great. Notice that starting back in the beginning of the year, the, the purple predictor has been running under the price action, which means that the smart money is not that excited about this market. Now, we did see a sharp rally in the purple predictor, uh, which is on balance volume, which tells us that the smart money is starting to come back into the market and that is bullish. But let's just call it bullish, but not wildly bullish. Over here, we can see in the Dow, let's take a look in the box in the upper right hand corner. We finally have the little green line showing the buying pressure is much higher than selling pressure. Now that now notice that the the we see that the Dow has rallied up. Now the rally, the Dow had been the slaggard of the three major indices and has yet to go back up above these highs. Now if we go back to the S&P, you can see the S&P has surmounted these highs but has yet to rally above the February highs. Same thing here. We we finally broke above those highs but haven't broken above the February highs. What about the NASDAQ? The NASDAQ's been the leader. As I've been telling you all along, the NASDAQ has retaken the lead out of the top three indices. And notice that the purple predictor is neutral. It's on top of the price action, but that's better than the than the S&P. So look for the NASDAQ to continue to be the leader of the three major indices. Now, let's take a look at our seasonality indicator. We talked about uh, the Utes last week and now they have conclusively broken to a new high. So we're gonna be getting long utilities now. Uh, our seasonality indicator for the market though, I've moved it up to here. You know, we're not gonna really get it. Remember that it ends at the end of April, that's just two weeks away. So we're back to just doing normal size positions, no extra large positions at all. But now we're going to put on extra large position in utility stocks. So that's going to be where our focus is. Now, see, the interesting thing is what I what I've done here is if you notice this, look at this, the stock market seasonality is bullish from September 30th to April 30th. That's the normal thing. Look at utilities, the exact opposite, the exact opposite. So when the stocks go into the neutral summer period, utes turn bullish. Beautiful, beautiful. That means we have an extra large position in utes when we do normal in the stock market. Then when we do extra large positions in the stock market, we're back to normal in the Utes. That's why I track these two is because their seasonality is exactly the opposite of the other one. So we always have a bullish seasonality in either stocks or utilities. Beautiful. All right. You can see here uh, the, the seasonal pattern though for this year is very, very bullish. Uh, and so we're going to rock and roll. Asset allocation moving a little bit in favor of stocks, money coming out of bonds. But in the last few days, the bonds have been taking money out of the stock market. So guess what? We're going to get long some, some bonds. Bonds, utes, ooh, very conservative. And guess what? Our risk decator is getting more and more conservative. And now I'm very happy that we're in utes and we're going to be getting long bonds showing that we're going to go where the market wants us to go, which is in less risky stocks. So we're going to do that. Break. Look at this. We're back up to the old highs here in February. And really, foreign stocks, particularly European stocks, have significantly outperformed the Dow, the S&P, the NASDAQ, 
And so we're going to get long European stocks here, IFA, IFA. And the yield curve gets worse and worse. So this is something, this is why normally this year, based on seasonality and based on the presidential cycle, this year should be explosive. We should be up 20% this year. But there's all these sort of negative things in the background, like the yield curve, the yield curve breaking to new lows. This is not good for the economy. This is not good for the stock market. So this is going to dampen any enthusiasm that I have. Yeah, we'll be bullish this year, but not anywhere near what we should be seasonally. Over here, you can see bonds up. Look at this. Look at this. A high, a high, a high. We're back at the highs again. I think this time we're going to break through. I think this time we're going to break through. Notice that the purple predictor, which had been below the price, below the price, but now on the price, which means that the smart money has been more bullish on this rally than it was on the previous rallies. I'm going to follow the smart money and get long bonds. Bond key indicators remain somewhat bullish. The dollar is bearish. We've been telling you this. Bear, and it's going to stay bearish, partly because of the bonds being bullish. If the bonds are bullish, that means interest rates are coming down in the U.S. They're not coming down overseas. They're still going up overseas, which puts interest rate differentials in favor of everything but the dollar. So the dollar is going to remain bearish here over the near term. <clears throat> We're going to get involved in that. Gold. We're buying more gold. Uh, this week, so as we break to new highs, so got to be long gold. If you're bearish the dollar, you probably got to be long gold, and gold is definitely bullish. And our indicators, look at this one, bullish, bullish. This one we're ranking as neutral, but it's coming out of a bullish period, so it's kind of like neutral plus, if I could put it that way. And the mountain chart underneath shows the bull market in gold. So I'm not wildly bullish gold, but I'm getting longer and longer. Crude oil gaps up on the news that, the, uh, that OPEC Plus is cutting their production, but then all of a sudden we staggered sideways. We can't get above this resistance at about 80, let's call it 84, 85, something like that. But the purple predictor remains relentlessly bullish and even got more bullish. So I have to be bullish, but I'm not really long energy stocks because this is, I mean, yes, over the last few weeks it's been bullish. But if I look at the whole chart as a whole, like I say, it can't break above these highs here. I'll wait until we break above those highs. I'll wait until we've confirmed that there's a bull market in crude oil before I get long energy stocks. So right now, holding on the sidelines. Bitcoin staggering sideways. Purple predictor very bearish. This is like, what's going on here? All right. <laughs> we'll stick with the stock market where we are the experts, where nobody does better than we do. Anyway, freebies, we love you. Hey, freebies, you know we love having you here every week watching the free edition of Wall Street Winners. But let me give you a little bit of a pitch of why you should actually upgrade and get the fully paid up member version. The big difference between them are two big differences between the freebie and the fully paid up version. Number one, the fully paid up version has more extensive analysis, which means that the prognostications are more accurate. And you get greater insights into what is actually happening in the market and why it's going to happen. But we're also talking about the dollar. We're talking about the bond market, the crypto market. But of course, we focus on the stock market. So better, greater, more analysis so you understand what's really going on and what, how reality is creating profits and how we're going to create profits in the market. Number two, and this is most important, there's actual trade recommendations. So in the freebie section, I say, well, I'm bullish on the dollar, or I think we're going to have a dip in the market and then an explosion to the upside, whatever I'm saying. 
You want to be able to see what I'm actually doing in the real world. So I put out specific recommendations. Now, these recommendations are actionable. They tell you exactly what the stock is. They tell you exactly the price to enter. And I tell you exactly the price to exit. So you, there's no doubt you can take action and you can make money. We're now in, we're pushing three decades of publishing Wall Street winners, and every year has been a winning year. I don't care if it's a bull market. I don't care if it's a bear market. My job, because I am a professional investor, and I do the same trades that I recommend to you, by the way. I'm putting the same orders in. So you and I, we're going to see the same profits. But here's the point. As a pro trader, my job is to make money trading every day, every every day. I wish I could make it every day, every year, okay, every month, because I need to know I want to buy steak. I don't want to eat oatmeal. You got it? All right. The difference between Wall Street winners and all the other newsletters out there are, number one, I'm a professional trader. They often are amateurs. Number two, I ran the top performing global macro hedge fund in the world. How many of them have ever run a hedge fund, let alone a top performing one? I, Hulbert, rated this newsletter, Wall Street Winners, as the best performing newsletter ever. Number three, I also managed the number one growth mutual fund in the United States. Quick, how many newsletter writers have ever managed a mutual fund, let alone a high performing one? So what you're getting is my 50 years of experience at picking stocks and making money. That's why you should subscribe. This is a newsletter that doesn't cost you anything. Yes, you have to pay money every month, but the profits from the trades should more than cover the cost of the subscription. So this is a free newsletter if you take action using the trades that I put in here. Anyway, I hope to see you uh, upgrade and become not just a freebie member. You know we love you, but we'd love to even have you come as a fully paid up member and get even more value than you're getting now. All you have to do is go to WSW2021.com. That's WSW2021.com. Sign up. Let's get going. I want to share greater analysis and great trades with you. We'll talk to you later. Thanks very much, Freebies. You know we love you.